Some animals are big. A lot of animals are big. But some animals are so very big. They even make other animals of their own species look teeny and quaint. These are the biggest animals of their kind. Number 20. Alaskan Moose The massive Alaskan moose is the largest of all moose kind, and there are estimated to be between 175,000 and 200,000 of these monster moose mooching around in Alaska. These big animals can measure to a whopping 7 feet from hoof to shoulder, so that doesn't even include their huge head and antlers. A large male moose can weigh up to as much as 1,600 pounds, and that's an astonishing size. In fact, the only land mammal in North America that's actually larger is the bison. The male moose grows a mighty pair of new antlers every spring and sheds two old ones in winter. They obviously need to keep up with the latest fash horns. Alaskan moose are not only big, but they're also dangerous. Despite the fact that these animals are strictly herbivores and spend their days chomping plants, they can be super aggressive if they feel in any way threatened and the female moose will not hesitate to hoof you to kingdom come if she feels that you may be a threat to her baby. So you never want to mess with a moose. It might end up being your last mistake. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. This image is a recreation of something a fisherman called Sean Lee claims to have seen. If he saw what he thinks he saw, the world just became a far more terrifying place. He insists that he saw a shark fin pop out of the water's surface. Nothing out of the ordinary about that. But Sean, well, he insisted it was significantly larger than average. In collaboration with the artist behind this image, he captured just how big it was. If he is telling the truth, if he's not exaggerating, then we just have to wonder. Did he see a megalodon? Just look at the insane scale of the thing. It has to have been a megalodon, right? Truly horrifying. What do you think? Did he sail past a real megalodon while fishing, or was he just delirious? As always, comment down below with the hashtag sweet topic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed you on screen. Number 19. The Great Dane, the largest dog breed. Now, if you love a big mutt, then the Great Dane is the dog for you. These sizable canines are the biggest breed, and they have a massive personality to match. The gentle giant of the canine world, the Great Dane is a humongous creature with a friendly nature. They're elegant and sleek dogs with muscular and athletic bodies built to run. Their massive size, although part of their appeal, also makes owning these special dogs pretty tricky. You're going to need a lot of space, both indoors and out, and they need loads of room to exercise. And when they're inside, that waggy tail is an accident waiting to happen. Some owners have a dedicated Dane room for their huge hounds to hang out in. The noble Great Dane was bred to run with horses while hunting huge wild boar, so they needed to be very large and strong as well as pretty aggressive, all in order to tackle the board of the ground. Nowadays, these guys are less about the aggression, but they are still colossal. People who choose these dogs as pets can expect them to reach extraordinary heights. Number 18. Shire Horse These are the horses that look like they're wearing fluffy leg warmers. Beautiful Shire Horses originate from Britain where they have been part of country life going back to medieval times. It's believed that the Shire Horse may be descended from the legendary Great Horse of British History, famous for being used in big battles of the past. Badass warrior skills as well as super strength then. Before the technological transformation of farming in the UK, Shire horses really did pull their weight, and a whole lot else besides on land. 
They were used mostly for heavy pulling work, plowing, logging, delivering goods, as well as lugging great weights of coal in wagons around the country. They are perhaps most famous for being the horse of choice to pull carts loaded with huge barrels of ale from the brewery to pubs, and there are many depictions of the Shire horse doing just this in paintings of the 19th century. Number 17. Mammoth Donkeys Now that there is one giant ass. As well as their height, these donkeys have other extra-large body parts. Their ears are huge, often measuring 33 inches. All the better to hear you with, my dear. Actually, that's one reason that donkeys have developed big ears, all so that they can hear each other in the wild if they wander far from home. These lengthy lugs also help the donkey's internal temperature control system as they have large blood vessels in their ears and that allows for easy cooling in the hot weather. These big old donks were bred in the era before the Revolutionary War when they were developed to sire mules, which were bigger and stronger than others, so that they could do all the donkey work of lugging stuff around the country for the growing agricultural industry and general transportation. So the size of the mammoth donkey was very much on purpose. They were the custom-built trucks of their day, toting everyone's stuff all over the show. I'd tell you a joke about donkeys, but they're all pretty lame. Number 16. Savannah Cat Breed These large pet cats have a wild history. The Savannah Cat is a breed which has been developed from a domestic cat crossed with a serval, a type of wild African cat. So these animals are actually kind of illegal in some places? That is, unless you have a special license in order to keep one. They're also not supposed to be allowed to roam unsupervised outside. Their owners are required to put the cat on a leash and take it for walks, just like a dog. Which is probably an extremely frustrating and unpleasant experience for these animals, as they're instinctive hunters with some wild cat characteristics. These cats are tall and slim, appearing larger, although they're not very heavy at all. The actual size of a savanna can vary enormously depending on how many generations removed the animal is from a serval cat. So the largest tend to be first-generation males, and these cats often retain many of the wild cat's traits as well. Savannas really do look the part. They usually have beautiful markings and share some similarities in appearance to other wild cats, even some cheetah-like features. These cats are known for their long-legged agility and can jump from a standing position as high as 8 feet. They cause all kinds of mischief and can climb and even open cupboards, doors, and find themselves in all kinds of unusual situations, which includes water. As these cats have absolutely no fear or dislike of the water, unlike most other cat breeds. That is truly wild. Number 15. The Capybara, the biggest rodent on Earth. Although closely related to guinea pigs, capybaras do not share their size with them. These are the world's biggest rodents, measuring up to 2 feet high from toe to shoulder and weighing as much as 143 pounds. The capybara is native to South America where they live in forests, floodplains, and wetlands. So, it should come as no surprise that these funny creatures are excellent swimmers. They have partially webbed toes as well. These pig-shaped rodents live in large groups, partly as a kind of protection against predators, because capybaras are eaten by loads of bigger animals and some smaller ones too, but they're also pretty sociable. Perhaps one of the more weird and disgusting things about the capybara is their diet. They eat a whole ton of different plants and grasses and need to gnaw all day long to keep their teeth under control, as like other rodents, the capybara's teeth just never stop growing. Sounds like a fairly regular vegetarian diet, but these guys do have a morning habit that might make you feel a little bit icky because they eat their own poo. But only in the morning. Apparently, this is when it contains the most protein. Ew. It's also on account of their diet of grass being pretty hard to digest, so eating their own poop actually gives them the delicious opportunity to digest their dinner twice. Mmm, delicious. Number 14. 
the whale shark. Whale sharks are officially the biggest of all sharks, but they are harmless. Well, to humans anyway, and actually to most creatures, except really small fish. These sharks share many traits with whales, which is how they get their name. They're huge. They are filter feeders like baleen whales, eating a diet of plankton and small fish, which they draw into their huge mouth along with gallons of water and sieve the food through their filtration system. Colossal whale sharks live mainly in tropical oceans around the world and seem to be quite solitary creatures, although there have been sightings of large schools of these monster fish which contain up to 100 individuals. However, the whale shark is still a relatively mysterious animal, and despite some sightings, not that much is actually known about the breeding or the habits of these huge fish. The best estimate for lifespan is that whale sharks live somewhere in the range of 60 to 100 years. They're considered endangered and are listed as such by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. So just how big do they actually get? There have been reported sightings of whale sharks measuring as much as 59 feet long. Often these animals measure 39 feet and weigh in at around 33,000 pounds. Those are some really big fish. Number 13. Queen Alexandra's Birdwing, the biggest butterfly in the world. This is an extremely rare tropical butterfly, most remarkable for its massive size. It's found in the tropical rainforests of Papua New Guinea, but their habitat is only in a very small area, possibly about 450 square miles, and it's shrinking all the time because of deforestation due to palm oil production. These big butterflies are named bird wings, partly on the account of their wingspan and partly because of their wing movement. These extraordinary insects have a whopping wingspan of up to about 30 centimeters, which is 12 inches. And you may be asking yourself, what is this thing eating to become so big? Well, when they're a caterpillar, these insects eat a lot, but they mainly eat a particularly long-leafed vine. Then, when they're fully grown into a beautiful butterfly, they're restricted to eating daintily with their proboscis, which is a kind of tube tongue that they unroll to sip liquid like posh ladies. Oh, and the cool thing about these big beauties, they're actually poisonous. They get their poison from a toxic pipeline plant, which offers them a degree of protection as a species. Anything that nibbles on a bird wing will get a particularly unpleasant tummy ache and learn a valuable lesson not to eat brightly colored flappy things, even though they are oh so pretty. Number 12. The Ostrich This is one big bird. Ostriches are actually the largest birds on the planet, and a fully grown male can weigh up to 330 pounds, measuring up to 9 feet tall. Also, oddly enough, they have only two toes on each feet, and they boast the biggest eyeballs of any land-dwelling creature, a dazzling and fluttery eyelashed two inches across. All the better to see you with, my dear. The big-bodied ostrich is way too heavy to fly. These birds have developed muscular legs to be extremely fast on land. They can run over short distances at top speeds of about 43 miles per hour or over a longer distance at 30 miles per hour. This is one of the ways that the ostrich continues to thrive in such massive numbers. They can mostly outrun their predators and hanging out in a gang makes for more protection. Safety in numbers and all that, you know. Oh, and they also have a super cool secret weapon. They actually have no teeth. But what makes the ostrich deadly isn't exactly in its mouth. A single kick from an ostrich is so powerful that it can actually kill a lion. Turns out, they're the Bruce Lee of the savannah. Number 11. The Gigas Clam The Gigas Clam is a big deal, and by far the largest species of clam on the planet. These freakishly massive mollusks look like they could be an alien life form. The gigas clam can measure to more than 47 inches, weighing in at a scale-busting 440 pounds. The biggest one ever recorded actually measured an incomprehensible 6 feet and weighed 600 pounds. It's a clam! 
I mean, it shouldn't be that big. The sheer novelty of their size has resulted in these clams being harvested for food and for their aquarium trade. Both of these activities may be putting the population of gigas clams at great risk of extinction as the overfishing of the species has caused their numbers to plummet and they're now considered to be vulnerable. As well as being the biggest, these are also amongst the most endangered clams. So as a result, most examples of this colossal clam are nowadays cultivated into captivity to be supplied as food, although aquarium enthusiasts are also keen purchasers of this weird alien mollusk. Number 10. The Red Kangaroo With the thrill of being the biggest living marsupials on the planet, it's no wonder that these big guys are jumping with delight. I mean, who wouldn't want to be the undisputed maximum of their kind? Is it just me though, or are these kangaroos really weird? I can't quite get my head around the idea of a massive hopping creature with bulging pectorals and a propensity towards boxing and a whole lot of swagger. It's just so bizarre. And you don't really want to mess with them either, obviously, because these big beasts have a bit of a temper and a reputation for boxing doesn't come out of nowhere. The golden rule is never be rude to a roo. So the red kangaroo is indeed a very big kangaroo. They can grow to 5 feet tall, weighing in at 187 pounds, and along with all that height and weight, they also pack a quite considerable power. Males routinely leap 30 feet in one single jump. There are loads of red kangaroos in their native Australia. In fact, there are so many of them that quite a lot of kangaroos are turned into tasty burgers and steaks each year. That's right, the furry hopster is a dining delicacy amongst the Aussies, and it's growing in popularity elsewhere in the world as well. Number 9. The Reticulated Python the longest ever reticulated python measured in at an astounding 33 feet long, which is longer than a giraffe is tall. That is mighty big indeed. They can also get really heavy, sometimes weighing a colossal 350 pounds. But what else can they do? besides being massive and heavy. These whopping big snakes can be found in the rainforests and grasslands of Southeast Asia, where they mostly mind their own business, eating rodents or wild pigs or actually the occasional primate. The reticulated python is not usually a massive hazard for humans to navigate, but their paths do sometimes cross, which isn't a big deal given the sheer heft of the snake. They are not venomous, which is quite a relief because they are extremely big and strong already, so adding a poisonous bite to that combo would be overkill. But just because these snakes don't bite doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. The reticulated python is more than capable of swallowing a person whole. There are occasionally reports of people going missing only for a huge snake with a suspicious bulge to turn up in the vicinity. Although reports are rare of the reticulated pythons actually eating humans, they do sometimes indulge, so be careful not to hiss one off. Number 8. The Komodo Dragon the wonderfully weird Komodo dragon has the honor of being the world's heaviest lizard, and it doesn't disappoint. These guys are really big and absolutely marvelous. Even though they can't fly or actually breathe fire, there is something about these extraordinary animals that blows my mind. They are absolutely huge, but it's easy to find out their weight. They do come with scales, after all. They can actually weigh up to more than 300 pounds. However, when you consider that these guys can eat 80% of their own weight in just one meal, it really explains how they manage to get to such an impressive size. Oh, and these big monitor lizards are psychos. Seriously, they have some of the most ruthless and downright terrifying murder skills in the animal kingdom. Even though they might look quite cute and entertaining at times, the Komodo dragon has a nasty venomous bite, which means that even if their prey does manage to escape their powerful jaws, they're still in deep, deep trouble. 
The venom works slowly, causing gradual paralysis for the unfortunate recipient until they are eventually rendered completely helpless. That's when the dragon will begin its feast. As if the idea of being slowly eaten alive by a savage lizard isn't enough to give you nightmares, then you should know that these guys do in fact sometimes partake of the odd human, and they aren't really fussy whether or not that human happens to be dead or alive. These grave robbing reptiles are known for digging up corpses and devouring them. For the Komodo dragon, the more stinking and rotten the flesh, the better. Number 7. The Goliath Frog This is the biggest frog in the world. This list is really riveting, isn't it? Please forgive my terrible punning, but it feels like I've over-committed to this by now. Anyways, the Goliath Frog, aptly named, is a big amphibian having all the credentials to hang out on our list of the most plus-sized animals on planet Earth. My cat is as big as these frogs, and he's scared of the regular-sized ones, so I can imagine meeting one of these whoppers would have him cowering in the cupboard under the stairs indefinitely. Goliath frogs can weigh over 7 pounds, measuring to 12 and a half inches, and need to eat a whole lot in order to maintain their hefty physique. And that diet regularly includes crustaceans, insects, fish, and other amphibians. And if given half a chance, these guys are not opposed to eating the occasional bat, which does sound kind of chewy. Number 6. The Coconut Crab have you seen the size of these colossal crustaceans? These things are gigantic, and ever such a tiny bit terrifying as well. Named after its favorite foodstuff, the coconut crab sounds alright, not too menacing. That is until you learn that these creatures can literally rip apart said coconuts with their massive claws. As if that wasn't alarming enough, they don't actually restrict themselves to a fruitarian diet. <laughs> oh no! These crabs won't turn down a tasty mammal, and they're pretty partial to the odd bird as well. They'll also scavenge all kinds of gross stuff like dead animals and other crustaceans, and it wouldn't pass up any kind of carcass even a human one. Oh, and as they do measure three feet across and have the strongest grip in the entire animal kingdom, if these crabs do decide that they want to eat something, there's not a whole lot that anyone or anything can do about it. Although the coconut crab lives beside the sea, they're mainly land-dwelling by the time they reach adulthood, only nipping into the water for a snack in a pinch. So if the general massive size and appearance of this monster crab isn't enough to give you the willies, just imagine a whole swarm of these creatures clattering across the beach, devouring everything in their wake. Be claws, that's what's going to give us all nightmares. Number 5. Kianina, the largest cattle breed in the world. When cattle are considered the biggest of their kind, you know it's never going to end well for the cattle in question. As far as humans are concerned, a big cow is just more steaks or burgers, along with pastrami and mmm, delicious. So it's not really a good idea to become the tallest and heaviest breed of cattle. Not if you want to make it to adulthood, that is. However, the title of the largest cattle breed in the world has to go somewhere, and unfortunately, the winner of that death sentence is the Chianina. These huge cows have been bred in the Italian regions of Lazio, Umbria, and Tuscany for the last two millennia. In fact, they used to be bred as working animals. Their powerful frames were ideal for pulling plows and carts and whatnot over the awkward mountainous terrain of central Italy, but the industrialization of farming has meant that the use of these cattle in the fields was for the chop. Sucks for them, because that means that their gigantic meaty bodies were being eyed up as the ideal bistecca al florentina. That's Florentine steak to you. As these mighty bovines can reach weights of up to 3,500 pounds or more and heights of 6 feet 7 inches, that's a whole lot of steak. Number 4. The Goliath Bird Eater, the most massive spider in the world. Even in your worst arachnophobic nightmares, you probably never conceived of a spider quite like this horror. I mean, for Pete's sake, the thing is called the Bird Eater. 
which is a big clue into the creature's colossal size and general creepiness. With a body size of a fist, ew, and the spanning as much as 11 inches, the Goliath bird eater stalks the rainforests of Brazil, Venezuela, French Guiana, and Suriname. It is an ambush predator, and rather than hunting, the spider just lies in wait for its prey to pass by before grabbing it. Oh, and its favorite meal? Although it's named the bird eater, this spider actually prefers invertebrates, small rodents, and reptiles. But it isn't unknown for them to munch on the occasional bird as well. Apart from having a creepy name and some shady hunting tactics, this spider is also a night creeper. That's right, the biggest, scariest spider in the world comes out at night to feed. Like some kind of gothic horror plot. So, when you're all tucked up in your bed tonight, try not to think about these monsters scuttling out of their burrows and doing unspeakable night creeping things. Number 3. The Saltwater Crocodile Any idea which animal is most likely to eat a human? Well, you probably guessed these monster-sized seawater crocodiles. At least, that's what it says in their yearbooks. So other than being voted most likely to be a human eater, what else do we know about these biggest of crocodilians? Well, these reptiles do have a huge range. They can be found from India through Southeast Asia all the way to Australia. And they really do deserve their title as biggest crocodiles. These guys generally measure around 17 feet long, weighing in at about 1,000 pounds. But it's actually not uncommon to find examples that are an astonishing 23 feet in length and are gargantuan 2,200 pounds. The opportunistic saltwater croc lies in wait just below the surface of the water near the shore. It's a prime spot for catching a spot of lunch, as many animals will come to the water for refreshment. And as they pause by the edge, the crocodile then takes its chance. One swift and sudden movement to grab a hold of the prey and pull it under until it drowns. The crocodile's not a picky eater either. It will take in anything that passes by, from monkeys to wild boar, water buffaloes to sharks. There isn't really many creatures that can actually escape once a crocodile has them in its vice-like bite. Number 2. The Galapagos Tortoise Saddle up, partners, because we're heading south. You probably thought that the tortoises were named after the islands, didn't you? Well, think again, jerk. These big guys are called Galapagos tortoises on the account of their huge shell. The word is actually Spanish for saddleback. So the tortoises are what named the islands. Or maybe that was all the colonialism. Who can really say? Anyways, these incredible big animals can weigh up to 700 pounds, even though they do only eat a vegetarian diet of grasses, fruits, and plants. And perhaps the thing that most people know about tortoises is that they live long lives. That's certainly true of the Galapagos tortoise. They can live for at least 150 years, and that's made possible by the fact that they have no natural predators when they're grown beyond about a year, and they can go for long periods without food and water. In fact, the main risk to these amazing animals is actually human behavior, just like every other animal. They used to be hunted for their meat and shells, and in the present day, the destruction of their habitats and over-tourism has contributed to a decline in their numbers. However, these gentle giants have to be one of the most amazing examples of a massive animal. And aw, aren't they just so adorable as well? Number 1. Blackiston's Fish Owl Despite its weird name, this is a regular, if even massive, owl. It doesn't have any fish parts at all. We've all been lied to. I have to admit, though, that I'm a little disappointed that it isn't sporting a jolly fish tail or scales or gills or something, but there we are. Such is life. Lots and lots of disappointments. The owl is, of course, named for its eating preferences and can be spotted hunting over water where it will swoop down to grab the fish with its hefty talons. Even bigger than the North American Great Horned Owl, this is literally the biggest kind of owl out there. 
and it's one girthy bird. It's actually three times heavier than the Great Horned, and it's an impressive six inches taller. They can weigh around 10 pounds and have a wingspan that can be as big as six feet seven inches wide, which is frankly mind-blowing. Blackiston's fish owl only lives in a few places in the world and is currently considered to be an endangered species. It can though, for now, be found in Japanese islands and also in a couple areas of Russia and China. So this is a heck of a big bird. In owl honesty, who knew these things could get so very, very large? Being big doesn't necessarily make you better, but it sure as heck can't hurt, can it? That is, unless, of course, you're a dangerous, bloodthirsty predator. What other supersized creatures deserve a shout out? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out the other cool stuff showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.